Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Speedform throttle controller for your 19 and newer Silverado 1500. You should be checking this out if you're looking for an easy to use throttle controller that's gonna alter your throttle response and acceleration to give you a little bit more pep behind the wheel here without actually altering any horsepower or torque. And that's really a key thing before we jump into all the details. This is in no way gonna alter horsepower and torque. It's not a tuner per se. It's really just gonna communicate with your ECU or your vehicle's computer. It's gonna dial back the drive-by-wire delay. Now that's essentially the delay in time between hitting the gas pedal and your truck getting going off the line. Occasionally with these trucks, the bigger they are, of course, the worse it can get. It can be a little bit sluggish, of course, with the stock mode. So if you're looking to alter that, a throttle controller like this is the way to go without voiding any warranty or getting in the way of any actual tuning. Now this one here is one of the most comprehensive throttle controllers, at least in my opinion. It's got a bunch of different modes that you can take advantage of, and each one has nine different levels of sensitivity. Now right now I have it in P1 mode. Now P1 mode is basically gonna represent a comfort sport mode. So it increases throttle response and acceleration a little bit, but keeps fuel economy in mind, just for guys who are maybe using this as a daily driver and just want a little bit more pep without wasting a ton of gas. P2 mode is gonna increase that to sport mode. Sport mode is not really taking so much fuel economy in mind, it's really gonna boost that performance a little bit more than the comfort mode to give you better throttle response and acceleration. And then P3 mode is actually race mode, so it's all out throttle response, all out acceleration, and each one of those modes has adjustability between level one and level nine, level one being the least sensitive and nine being the most of whatever that mode is. It's also got, if you hit this mode button here, EC mode or economy mode. Now that's gonna take fuel economy in mind, and it's actually gonna increase your throttle response delay to make sure that you're keeping it a little bit more tame. It's really especially great for guys taking longer road trips and wanna keep fuel economy in mind to maybe stop at the gas pump a little less often. And then finally, your last mode is gonna be no on the display here, and that's basically stock. So if you wanna keep it bone stock, just as it was off the factory line, put it in no mode or stock mode, and it's gonna go right back to stock. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind here. You can stack this on top of custom tuners if you already picked one up for your Silverado, or if you might wanna do that in the future. You can tune it and plug this guy in to your gas pedal, and it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna stack on top of the tuner, no problems. Another thing is it doesn't leave any footprint on your ECU. So if you unplug this to go get an inspection or whatever, there's gonna be no imprint there. It's no, there's no computer knowledge of this ever existing, so it doesn't void any warranty unlike some tuners in some cases, that might be something you wanna keep in mind. Now this guy here, being one of the easier to use, it is a lot more affordable. Some of the other ones get really in depth with things like valet mode and stuff like that. This one keeps it pretty straightforward, comes in right around 150 bucks. This is extremely easy to use. It's one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Anybody can handle this in the driveway at home with about 15 minutes from start to finish. You're just gonna unplug the harness at the top of your gas pedal, plug it into the unit. With that said, I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and then we'll get to the install. Now the first couple of steps of this are gonna be a little bit difficult to see, but you wanna head back down to your gas pedal. Follow the gas pedal straight up, and again, you're not gonna be able to see this, it's pretty far up there, but you're basically gonna feel for a connector, lift up on the red locking tab, pinch and disconnect. And this is what that guy looks like. So when it's inserted, this red locking tab is gonna be seated down, you just flick that guy up, pinch and disconnect it. Again, it's higher up, so we can't get the camera in there, but that's what that guy looks like. From here, what you wanna do is take the throttle controller, you're gonna plug one end into that factory harness, just like that, lock it down. This other end's gonna go right back up into the position where that factory connector was. I'm gonna feed this guy up here, plug it in, lock the red locking tab, and now here's your module. Now the module, you wanna make sure this wire here isn't interacting with the gas pedal. You wanna bring that wire all the way up and feed it underneath of your steering column. Take the connector and you're gonna feed it up right underneath your steering wheel and bring it out just like this. And all that excess wire, you can zip tie back or you can tuck that into the steering column like this. And then we can plug it into our device and mount it on our dash. All right, next up we have our wire fed through our steering column right underneath that trim there. And you basically just plug it into the side. It's on the right side of the unit, just like that. Now you can mount this anywhere you like. I just find it easier to go right here because it comes straight up through that steering column and mounts pretty easily. Um, so what you're gonna do now is peel off the 3M tape on the backing. And if you need to, you can clean off the area. Ours is pretty clean, so it shouldn't be an issue. But you're basically just gonna stick this guy right in place. I'm gonna try to use this line here as a guide to make sure it's straight. Put firm, even pressure all around, and you're good to go. I wanna take you guys through these modes here and explain what each of them are and how they're represented on the screen. So you wanna make sure your ignition is on. All right, so you've got the accessory modes on. What you're basically gonna look at here are the mode button, the minus button, and the plus button. Now right off the bat, we have on screen the word no. And this over here is just a one with a dash next to it. So no 
basically means that this is bone stock. It has absolutely no change to your throttle response or acceleration, it's just stock mode. So there's no plus or minus in this mode because stock is stock. Once you hit mode once, you'll be in P1 mode. P1 mode represents comfort sport mode. Now in each one of these modes, you have nine levels of adjustment here. So you can use the plus sign to go up to nine, minus sign all the way back down. And whatever you leave this on, so if I left it on P1, five, anytime I cycle the modes and come back to P1, it'll stay on five. It remembers your last used mode here. P1 represents comfort sport. So it's a little bit of a boost over stock, but not too, too much. It keeps fuel economy in mind as well. Hit it again and it takes you to P2. P2 is actual sport mode. So it's a pretty good increase in throttle response and acceleration. It's not super eco-friendly, so it's just gonna really be a little bit more performance-based. Go to P3 here. P3 represents race mode. So race mode here is gonna be all out throttle response. And of course you get nine levels of adjustment. So P3, nine is basically gonna be all throttle response, all acceleration. There's almost no delay in the acceleration here. I'm just gonna keep pressing our on button. It might flash off every now and then just because we don't wanna start the vehicle at this point. But P3, nine, again, your highest, most sensitive mode. Hit it again and you have EC. EC is eco mode. Eco mode actually is gonna dial back on the throttle response and acceleration to keep fuel economy in mind. So if you're going on long road trips, you might wanna throw it on eco mode on the highway just to conserve a little bit more fuel and be a little bit more eco-friendly. And of course, EC nine is your most eco-friendly mode. Go down to zero, it's the least eco-friendly of the eco mode. Hit it one more time and it's back to stock. That's gonna wrap up my quick overview and install for the Speedform throttle controller available for the 19 and newer Silverado 1500. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.